Hi, Carlos. Uh, over here. Can, can you tell us what you've been doing since you finished in Rome? And was there maybe some advantage in having some time away from tournaments? Well, I uh, took some day off uh, with uh, doing nothing, <laughs> nothing, uh, just uh, chilling and uh, uh, being with uh, family, friends, you know, that they is needed uh, uh, as well. And uh, yeah, I, I train. I, I had uh, like five days practicing uh, in the uh, in the academy uh, at home. That uh, is really helpful for for me, you know, to be uh, away from tournament uh, a little bit. You know, have uh, more intensity practice. You know. Physical and uh, of course in in tennis that uh, I used to do this this year because I didn't have uh, more than four days to practice as to play matches and matches and uh, for me have uh, this time to prepare uh, Ranga Ross as uh, good as I as I did uh, these past days it was, it was great. It seems as Matt Futterman from the New York Times. As, as you've gone from bigger and bigger tournaments, bigger and bigger stadiums, it seems that you've never really been uncomfortable. Is that you pretending and that you are uncomfortable, or is it? Uh, were, are you really able to adjust and stay calm? And how how is it that you do that? Well, uh, at, the, at the beginning, when I played against the the best one, you know, in the in the best uh, stadiums, uh, it was. Uh, it was tough for me, you know, to get used to that and uh, to uh, st stay calm. But uh, I learned from from that moment. You know, I remember, for example, uh, against Rafa, for, uh, my first time in, in Madrid. Uh, it, it was really, really tough, and uh, I, I can name uh, a lot of matches that uh, I uh, didn't didn't feel comfortable playing on that. But uh, I, as I said, I learned from from that, and I always wanted to. To play in that uh, in that stadium, you know, in that tournament, and uh, I try to, to feel comfortable playing on that. And right now, uh, I I feel I feel great playing playing the great stadiums. <laughs> Carlos, when you say you've been chilling and relaxing, what does that mean for you, Rafa? At this time of year, would be playing golf or would be out on his boat. What do you do to relax and unwind? Well, I played golf uh, one day, and uh, of course, uh, half time with friends, family. Uh, you know, for me, mm, doing nothing special, just uh, you know, spending time with uh, with them, quality time at, at home is uh, really helpful for me. So, uh, as I said, just nothing, nothing special. Hi, Carlos. Uh, with the Olympics being here next year, uh, in what would be your first Olympics and likely Rafa's last, have you considered the possibility of playing doubles with Rafa, or is that something you would consider? For me, it could be it could be a dream play, playing doubles with uh, with him. You know, in the in the Olympics, so of of course. Uh, uh, let's see, let's see uh, how he's, uh, how he's uh, doing and he's going. How he's going, you know, in the in this year. Hopefully, uh, you know, he's going great. But uh, yeah, for me, it would be it would be a dream to play doubles with him. Hi, Carlos. Uh, here, I wanted to know how did you react when Rafa announced that uh, he wasn't able to be here, and do you feel that makes the tournament way more open and more interesting this year? Well, I feel uh, I I felt bad, you know, when I heard uh, that uh, Rafa he was not uh, able to play here in in Ranga Ross and uh, probably uh, the rest of the uh, of the year. You know, he, as I said before, as a fan of uh, of tennis, uh, as a fan, <laughs> yeah, as I said, uh, as, a, as a fan, you know, uh, I always uh, to watch Rafa playing. You know, I always want to watch the best players in. Uh, in the world, uh, playing the tournaments, you know, and uh, of course le learning from from them really close uh, here in the locker rooms, you know, around the uh, the, the club, the, the tournament is uh, for me is is great. And when I hear that, uh, for me, it was it was tough, you know, to uh, to understand 
how, how it's gonna how it's gonna be, you know, without with our Rafa this this year, and uh, hopefully to to see him next year, at, uh, yes, uh, he's hundred percent, hopefully. Hi, Carlos. Howard Fenderich with the AP. <clears throat> you dealt with some injuries late last year and at the beginning of this year. How difficult was it? Difficult for you to be away during that time, and what was it like for you during the Australian Open? Did you pay much attention to what was going on? Were you thinking, wow, I wish I was there? Or do you think, it's OK, I'm still very young. I have a lot of these left to play in. Well, uh, it was really, really tough, you know, at the end of the last year, you know, uh, was, uh, wasn't able to, to play, you know, the NITO finals. And uh, was not able to, to play Australian Open. For me, for me, it was really, really tough, you know, because it was a talking about Australia, it was a tournament uh, that I really wanted to, to play. I thought that the, I had the opportunity to, to, de, to do a good result uh, in, in Australia and uh, yeah, got injured uh, and had, uh, let's say, yeah, four or five weeks to, to recover that, that injury. It was tough, but uh, at the same time, I'm a, a guy who uh, looks the, the the positive things you know about everything and uh, it was uh, a good time for me to to prepare you know the the rest of the season you know uh, and uh, being more prepared about uh, everything what is uh, what what was coming uh, in in that time and uh, uh, you know preparing practicing uh, uh, stay calm you know. Uh, Practicing as well the, the the mental part, you know, to stay calm, to stay positive in in that uh, tough moment. That uh, helped me a, a lot to to came into the competition uh, as good as I did. Carlos, yeah. Uh, do you consider yourself um, stronger than Rafael Nadal at the same age? Stronger, less, or equal? <laughs> I don't know. You know, it's uh, different. Uh, different time, you know, when he was 20 years old. Uh, uh, I, I can I can say if I'm uh, stronger right now than than he than him at the, the same age, you know. Of course, he he did uh, great things at, at my age, uh, but I can I can answer that that question.